And welcome to Let's Play Warrior Land, the finale. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester, and hey, ever wonder what these numbers underneath the file names were? I guess that's how many courses you've cleared. When you start a new game, after you've beaten it, it uh, starts flashing, you know, it starts flashing to show that it, you still have some treasure left over. It's a new game plus or whatever. I never took the time to properly explain this menu selection screen, so I figured I'd take the time to do it now. I'm wasting time, let's go. Well, when last we left off, we left the misspelled Parcelli Woods, and now we're here at Syrup Castle. Complete with thunder and lightning and a weird wiggly skull something or other, I have no idea. Let's, let's stop wasting time and get right to it. The pirates will die here. And I stole the jet helmet, so you know we're in good shell. Uh huh. Off to a great start, aren't we? Well, hopefully there's something here soon. That'll work. Start fresh. Yep. All right. This is reminiscent of Parsley Woods, isn't it? This isn't quite Syrup Castle yet. This is getting to Syrup Castle, I guess. Many of the same elements, you know, all that, all that good stuff. Checkpoint in here, I don't think we need it. But this shows just how complex getting to these checkpoints are. I'm starting to get, you know. The very last one is pain. But we'll get, but we'll get to that. Let's focus on the here and now. And become a bull. Awesome. Things are to avoid. They respawn, don't they? I guess they don't. Okay. Cool. I. Yeah. I think that spiky ball crushed that guy. There ain't more. Whoa. Oh man. No, I'm not getting rid of bull. Fuck. I got rid of bull. I hate this thing so much. It's like one of my least favorite power-ups of all time. Yeah, at least jumps become really hard now because I don't have any dash to help me. And yes, we have a treasure here. But uh, I didn't see any treasure along the way, nor was there ever any place to go see one. And if we go over here, all that's left is just the goal. So, then, where the hell is the treasure door? You'll never guess. Hidden beneath the darkness. Remember when Nintendo used to make difficult games and tricky games that had a bunch of secrets and stuff like that? A whale?! A whale?! What kind of treasure is a whale? Is just a just a fucking whale in a treasure chest? It better be like a golden whale or something, but why a whale then? These treasures are weird. I almost got it, I think. Kind of behind my hand there. Uh, um. Well, that's treasure N, and uh, that we got what we got one left to go, obviously. Behind the blackness, whatever. Anyway, now we're finally in the castle, or at least like a secret underground back door or something or other. Mm, doesn't look pretty really inviting, does it? Anyway, let's finish this level. Now that we've finally made it into the castle. And with 17 coins, you only get 24 47. So let's keep going. We made it inside. Now we must storm their flanks, or something like that. Infiltrate. Oh gee, all these blocks. 
I wonder, I wonder uh, what this switch does. Probably gets rid of them. Actually, no, it moves them. That makes it so you can't actually get some of these things. Like, if I want to get that bull helmet, which, you know what? I, I'm gonna make the effort. This is getting irritating. I'm, I'm getting sick of this fucking dragon shit. Yeah, I don't care. I'm, take, I'm taking a little extra time. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna make the time. Because this is a real power-up. Go thank me later. Alright, here we go. Good. Uh, down this ladder, which is kind of hard to see amidst all the black. Very dark here. Sure, we might have needed the dragon for this, but... I still don't care. This is much less annoying. That's more fun, too. I can also do that and just make everyone stop! Stop! And the game's like, are you sure you don't want dragon? No, I don't want dragon. Because fuck you. All. Oh. oh, come on. Ah, eh, whatever. This is actually a little bit easier now because I have more control. I'm a harder target to hit and move a little faster. Because the, because it's on the Game Boy screen, these levels feel a lot more claustrophobic, so it's good to be a little small for these trickier parts. It really helps. At the disadvantage of, you know, one hit kills. But. But. Besides, we're invincible now! How exciting. We... Ta-da! I guess I missed a couple. But hey, I'm big again now, yay. Ouch! Almost lost it again. Dang it. Fuck you! This part is really tricky, you gotta be... Fuck! Well, you really get just gotta be... Oh man. Just kinda push left, but you gotta push up at the same time because Wario will not automatically grab onto the ladders. I think that lava is like one hit kill. Especially here when the level's really high. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with my D-pad being as wonky as it can be. That was definitely terrifying. Oh, hey, a jet helmet! Yay! Hope I don't lose it! Fuck off. That was too close. And hey, let's hit this path. Let's hit the switch here. Well, thank god there was a switch that blows up the fucking castle. And you know what? I got to that switch with relative ease, too. Hmm. Well, I got 2477, and, uh, we can go ahead and move on. And here's where we will find our last treasure. Course 39. Kind of casual music for storming a castle, you know. We're actually better off with the bull ability in this level. We kind of needed to get the treasure. That was just mean. I'm gonna try again. Alright, one more time. Get the bull. Fucking keep it this time. Stop dicking around. Not only that, but with this with this bull power, you get a pretty nice uh, supply of coins too. Not bad. Oh shit! I wonder if I can still keep going. Oh, 
Well, I'm big again, at least. Ah! Fuck it. Take three. This one's for real. Here we go. Oh, oh. This level isn't that hard. I'm just, I'm just fucking up. Come on, you DJ. Get your fucking head in the game! Ugh! Come on! Ugh! <clears throat> Alright. I think I'm good now. Oh, come on! Ah. Fuck it. Alright, I think I'm good now. I think we're ready to do this. Alright, so we'll go ahead and kill this guy. One of these. These things always make me nervous. Oh, jeez. Okay, him. Garlic if we need it. Everything in that box. Head through here. What's that thing do? Oh, oh geez! Ah. I think there's a checkpoint in here. Yeah, see how you have to like do some platforming to get to a checkpoint. It's brutal. And you know what? Given my track record for this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that checkpoint. As a precaution. Alright, I'm- Oh! Uh oh. Here's where we need to go for our treasure. Down these fucking things! Whoa! Nope. Nope. There you go over there. There, there we go. Get a hang to the right a little bit. The hell with you. Zip through this door. Nothing down here in those two corners. Dragon power up and I think there's a heart over here. Let me double check. No, it's a garlic. Cool. But, what we really need to do is we need to go up here first. It's up our left corner. Take care of all these blocks. Most of them, anyway. Fire these blocks, too, for the hell of it. There's a treasure, by the way. But where's the key? Well, for, for this being the last treasure of the game, it's really not that hard to find. Because the key's just right here. You just gotta go over here. I mean, a little bit of busy work, but it's not a proper challenge. Oh well, I hope this is an actual treasure this time. What do you think it'll be? Hmm. 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 Ah! Ooh, a diamond ring. That's an actual treasure. Thank you. I'm actually appreciative of that. Now we filled the board with treasure! Yay! But it's not gonna really come into play until after we beat the game. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of the rest of this fucking castle here. Blow it up, take it out, whatever we need to do, and let's go from there. And backtracking. Alright, back on the Here we go. I'll kick your ass out. Go! <laughs> this is like the best game to be the ultimate douchebag. I'm getting Donkey Kong flashbacks. Yep. Alright. This part is also much easier as Small Wario, because you have more versatility around here. But again, you have the threat of one-hit kills. It's kind of a neat system. And you. Well, I wonder what I should do now. A second switch that blows up the fucking castle. I mean, why would you... This, well, this time it's all... Ew. Who designed this fucking castle? Well, whatever. We take 25, 10, and full treasure. I think that's a pretty good loadout. Well, now it's time to take this bitch down. This bitch at the very top. Final level. 
royal land. At the skull. Are you ready? Are you ready? You can't possibly be ready. We're fucking ready. Let's go! <clears throat> of course, 40. I love this level. It really feels epic. It's building up to something. But the music just works great. And it's really cool being Bull Warrior here because when you bounce on these, it's like your thundering steps are approaching her. Start! I'm coming for you! Ah, uh, yeah. These ones are kind of tricky to get. Just get up. Like that. And a one up, I'll take that. Another heart in there. Oh, man, there's, there's fucking hearts everywhere. Hearts I never found 20 years ago. Oh, come on. Thunderous footsteps. Where the fuck are you? I'm coming for you. Now, uh, this is a checkpoint I remember fondly as a child. I would have so much problems with this last boss, I'd have to go through this part so many times. Go up here, dodge that guy. So I should know this part like the back of my hand. Hopefully, you won't have any issues. garlic in there in case you die at this part, so you have Bull Warrior from the get-go. Good time to practice your thundering footsteps as you approach the gate. Alright, I think we're... Uh, what's... Oh yeah, we actually have a mini-boss here, believe it or not. This device is actually protected by this weird knight guy. Well, he's armored everywhere, so we might as well just kick him in the back. I guess that works. Oh, now he's pissed. It, it, um. Uh. Well, I'm just gonna go over here, then. Oh, I gotta kill him. And I guess I gotta hit him again, then. Just, uh, idiot. He gave up already? Um. You're not even gonna try to look for me? <laughs> I made a weird face. Um, okay. Whatever. Ah, uh, this part was fun. It's all about timing, and when you die from the final boss and you do this over and over again, you start to rush, and this is how I lost many alive. But 20 years later, I can do it with no problem. Oop. This thing is always making me nervous because I always feel like my D-pad's gonna fuck up and I'm just gonna get hit anyway. Well, uh, behind this door is the final boss, and uh, while it while it was easier getting here with the bull helmet, it's really really fun and easy to defeat the final boss with a jet helmet. But there is none in this level, so we're gonna have to make one. And besides, we have to finish it off properly. Well, I guess that's her. Princess Syrup, or whatever the fuck her name is, I have no idea. Um... Uh... Oh, fuck! Angry Genie! Angry Genie! Oh, shit. You're in cahoots! Ah! Alright. Now he's gotta hit him on the head a few times. Will do. So you get the idea. If I could keep my altitude, I could just do that non-stop. Real cool if you want to try speedrunning the game. Oh, I got him, yeah. That's piss easy. But they made me lose my jet helmet. Oh, she's pissed. What the shit? Holy f-
Mario is such a prick. Well, at least we still have this lamp. Is this genie gonna kill us now? Ah, now he's creepy nice genie. Um, okay, he says he would grant us one wish. What do we want, what do we want more than anything in the world? Uh, anything in the world. Oh, a castle! You want a huge castle. Uh, Alright, well, we gotta pay for it? Wait, we gotta pay for it. How oh, weird. We have to pay for our wish. Well, uh, here's where, here's where the game tallies up all the coins that we've retrieved, where it cashes in all your treasures, take, you know, it, uh, just gives you a final total of how many coins you've gathered. And, uh, the final total for the last level was, uh, 2902, but now it starts counting all the treasures. That's 2,000, and it makes it something or quite a costly penny. <laughs> so let's just see just how far this would go. 9,000? God. I wonder how much that clown face is. Actually, I think I'll just have a list of the treasures, what they actually what they actually are, and their actual value as well. This long, this long side here. Man. Yeah, the fucking whale. Seven thousand. They just doing this at random. I'm gonna skip ahead here later on, but um, once it uh, cashes in all your coins, it starts depositing them into money bags, which you use to pay for whatever ending you get. And because we got all the treasures, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the best ending. Just a thought. So, but but uh, that process takes a very, very, very long time, and I'll do you the mercy of actually, uh, you know, skip, skipping ahead. But I'm keeping this in just so I can get these items listed off. Look at me, justifying my directorial choices. Whatever. If you want to call this a directorial choice. Ah, uh, two more. Final total was ninety-two thousand nine hundred and two. Now it starts counting backwards as it starts making money bags for us. This will take some time, so I'll just skip ahead. That gives us five money bags stacked perfectly. So here, take all my fucking money, you bastard. What will he make come true with our wish? Dog. Ultimately, all our efforts for getting all these treasures and visiting these seven cities of gold gets us a gigantic castle. The W on it. This wasn't the best ending because we did not reach maximum coins, but still not bad. Thank you everyone for sticking around for this Let's Play of Wario Land. We got a uh, bunch more interesting stuff coming your way, um, so yeah, stick around. This is Ultra Director Jester signing off. I'll go ahead and let these credits roll.
You know, um, there's no way out of this screen. Wario will just endlessly pace back and forth forever if you let him. But the music does start to replay again, in case you like that song so much. Thanks again for sticking around to the end. You're really freaking awesome for doing so. We'll see you guys next time.